Hi everyone, I'm Jen Allen and today's workout is an advanced Pilates workout using the foam roller. A lot of people have a foam roller and don't know what to do with it. A lot of people use it for foam rolling or massage and I have a great video on how to do that for all the muscle groups so check that one out. It's called rocking, rolling and stretching with a foam roller. But today it's about Pilates so we'll be using it for a piece of equipment that will challenge us in a lot of ways. If you really like this workout today, I am actually filming another one because there's so much we can do with this called Pilates with the Foam Roller number two. So check it out if you like this challenge. Anything we do on the foam roller can be modified to the floor, so always know that you want to make sure you feel safe. I'm using a two foot foam roller, works great for this workout. If you have one that's smaller, you can make it work also. This one's a little bit better, and if you have one a little longer, that'll be great also. If it's hard and you have trouble kneeling on it or pushing your hands down on it, just use a little towel over the top of the foam roller and that may add a little extra padding. Let's get started, we've got lots to do today. I am not using a mat, I prefer the carpeted floor, but if you have a hard floor, use a mat, it works great. Take the arms down, engage, and take the foam roller high and low. Let's remind ourselves of the principles of Pilates. Everything you do should be done with control, centering and concentration. Movement should be fluid with precise detail and breath. A couple more up. I'll be making quick transitions without a lot of repetition. So right now you're just warming, breathing, paying attention to the powerhouse sucking in through the ribs and the pelvic triangle engaging. To the right diagonal reach. And I will transition the moves pretty quickly. You won't have a lot of downtime today. That's why this workout is pretty advanced. You'll get lots of different exercises. Take the foam roller above your head in the center, pull your shoulders down. Engage the pelvis, tilt to the right side, come back up through the center. Tip to the left side, come back through the center. Now with a little more speed and aggressive energy, other side, pull. Again, pull, so it's dynamic, but still smooth. Strong one more time. Bring it back up to the center, bring it into the chest, turn your toes to face forward sit into a chair and push the foam roller forward stand up tall bring it into the chest and then sit deep as you can push forward drop the head lift up high all the way up through the legs bring it into the chest and sit deep into the chair push forward drop the head lift all the way up bring it into the chest and sit deep into the chair for one more push forward drop the head lift high bring it into the chest drop into chair. Reach forward as you come up, twist to the right, pull the foam roller to the side. Reach forward, left side pull. Reach forward. You wanna make every move count because you don't do very many. Last one. Bring it back to the front, lift all the way up, bring it into the chest, stay in that position. Pull your right knee up and find your balance. And as you do that, engage the pelvic triangle, Take the foam roller forward. In opposition, right knee to the side, left with the foam roller. Come back to the midline. Open. That pelvic triangle is such an important part of balance. One more. Come back to center, take the foam roller high. Take the right leg to the side. Pull over to the side of the hip, lifting your leg. Bring it down to find balance. Pull, lift. Hold. Let's finish with two more. It's not real fast. One more. Bring the foam roller into your chest. Step in. Pull the left leg up and reach the foam roller forward. In opposition, open the knee to the left, foam roller to the right. Come back to midline. Three more. Again, you don't do very many, so everyone you do counts. One more. Take the foam roller high, take your foot to the side, pull over to the side of the hip, lift the leg, down, take that again. Wonderful move for that oblique muscle on the waistline, two more of these, pull, one more. Bring the foam roller into your chest, 
Turn it in a vertical position, place it under your right hand. Lean forward, bring your right knee forward towards the foam roller. Left arm comes forward. Right leg kicks back, so you're in an extended tabletop position. Elbow to knee, connect. Reach out, open out to the opposite side. Come back to center, elbow to knee, connect. Reach out, open to opposite sides. Come back to center, elbow to knee, connect. Reach out, open to opposite sides. Let's go one more time, elbow, knee, connect. Lengthen, open to opposite sides. Come back to center, release the arm and leg down. Put your left hand on the foam roller, left knee in, right arm forward, left leg back. Elbow and knee connect, press out, open to sides. Notice that wasn't a very long transition. Elbow knee, and that's how we'll work today. Transitioning from one move to the next really quickly to make the most use out of our time today. Breathe, open. One more time. Open. Float the arm and the leg down. Turn and face so that the foam roller is to the right side of you. Arm over the top of the head. Extend the other leg out. And then bring that left leg off the ground so you've got this nice long extension. Hand to the back of the head. Drop the elbow forward. I'm not moving anything else but the torso and the elbow forward. Got one more. On this last one, reach the arm up high. Arm and leg pull together four times. Three, two, and one. Transition in. Take the foam roller to the other side. Leg extension, arm over the head. Hand behind the head. Drop just the elbow of the torso forward. Open up. Take that again. Drop it forward. Open it up. Two more. Drop forward. Open it up one more time. Extend the arm all the way over your head. Pull your arm and leg together. Pull four, three, two, and one. Come on in, come down to the floor with the foam roller underneath your hands. For some piece of heaven push-ups, take the foam roller out wide. These are chest push-ups. Piece of heaven is a stretch that looks like a child's pose. You'll come back to this every time. Come up to the top of your push-up, whether it's on your knees or your feet, lower your chest down to the foam roller. Push the foam roller as you lift back up to the top of your push-up, then drop your knees and pull back into your child's pose. A little faster, push out to the top of your push-up, lower chest. I like the foam roller under my hands here. It puts my wrist in a nice position. Top of the push-up, lower down. Top of the push-up, bend your knees, pull back. So if you're doing this on your knees, beautiful. Same move. If you're doing it on your feet, we have two more. Maybe a combination. You can also do this without the foam roller at all. One more time. Drop, push, lower, pull back, and hold. We'll be stretching as we go. So not as much at the end stretch, more as we go stretch. Come up on the hands and knees, place your hands about shoulder distance apart, and then engage the toes underneath you and come up into a full plank position. In the next one, call a lizard stretch. Take the right foot to the side of the right hand and stretch, take it back to plank. Left hand, or left foot, plant the foot. I love this one, it's a beautiful stretch for the hips. One more and then I add on. Right foot steps, the left knee pulls forward towards the foam roller, step back and step into plank. Left side around the side, clamp the foot, back knee in tucks. Step back, let's do it one more time on each side. Right foot to the lizard, left knee tucks under. Pull back, step back, one more time left side, tuck in, step back. Step back, drop your knees to the floor, pull back, and give it a little stretch right there. Come back up onto your hands and knees. 
Remember, I don't do a lot of repetition, so when things get challenging, no, it's not going to last long. Tuck your toes, plank right knee forward. Swing under to the left elbow, outside to the right elbow. Come back to center, hold chin up. Swing under to the right elbow, out to the left elbow. Back to center, lengthen the back of the neck. One more time, swing under, swing open. Back to center, chin up. Now just kick back, hold, put your foot down, bring the left knee forward. Swing under, swing open. Back to center, hold and extend the head forward. Swing under, swing open. Back to center, head extend forward. Last time, we only do three. Swing under, swing open. Back to center, lift the head. Now just kick the leg back and just hold. Hold, bend your knees, pull back and rest. Relax your wrists, roll them around. Shake the tension out of your neck. Then come back up onto hands and knees and take the hands to the outside of the foam roller. This is one of my favorites. Push down with your hands, up with your hips, wide legs. So I'm talking and bracing the pelvis, but not lifting the hips. My hips are down. Push down with the right side of your foam roller, up with the left. Rock to the other side. Push down to go up. I really like this one, so we'll do a few of them. Eight more. But you have to push before you pull. Push before you pull. Last four. Three more, two more, one more, and bring the knees down to rest. You can roll that foam roller across the wrist or forearms. Then come up onto your hands and knees with the foam roller underneath your hands about shoulder distance apart. Taking the right hand, reach forward. Left leg reach back in opposition. In a combination, lower the hand and the foot down, lift up. Elbow and knee connect in, reach out. Open to opposite sides, come back to center. Bend your back knee, reach back and twist. Let's repeat that two more times. Lower down, up. Elbow to knee, lengthen. Open to opposite sides, center. Twist, reach back, reach forward. One more time, touch down, up. Elbow to knee, lengthen, open to opposite sides, center, twist and reach back. Reach forward and release the hand to the foam roller, knee in, extend the opposite side, everything elevated, hand and leg down to the floor. Extend, lift up, elbow and knee connect. Lengthen, open to opposite sides. Center, bend the back knee, twist and reach back for your foot, back to center. Hand and foot go down, lift back up. Elbow and knee connect. Lengthen, open to opposite sides. Center, bend your knee, reach back for your foot. We'll go one more time on this sequence. Hand and foot down. Lengthen, out. Elbow knee connect. Reach and lengthen. Open to opposite sides. Center, bend your knee, rotate, twist. Lengthen, finish, and release down. Good. Transition onto your tummy with the foam roller underneath your hands. As you reach your foam roller out, back of the neck long so the head's not too high or too low. Right leg kicks up, then the left leg. So using the glutes, the hamstrings and the low back. Hands in front, neck neutral. Four, three, two. Little change, kick the right leg up, then kick it to the side, then center and down to the floor. Left leg, up, side, center. One more time each side. Both legs go up and down. Squeeze up and down. Squeeze up and down. So again, deep work in the low back. The back of my neck is neutral. I'm not lifting my head too high. Take it up a little faster, then open both legs out to the side, back in and down. Lift up, 
open, in, and down. Lift up. On this next one, lift up and out. Then bring them in and tap, tap the heels. Thighs are up. Chest is slightly elevated, but the neck is neutral. Release it to the floor now. Pushing down with your hands, keeping your legs and thighs down and contracting through the belly. Push down and roll into a cobra. Keep the elbows soft. Push back forward. You can reposition your hands every time. Push down to roll up. Soften the elbows. Push forward and down. Push down, roll up. So pressure to the foam roller and roll back forward. Little change on this last one, pull up. But as the chest goes down, take the legs up like a teeter-totter. So the legs go down, the chest goes up. And I'm not gonna go fast. I'm gonna move with really deep intention. Chest goes up, legs go down. Legs go up, chest goes down. We'll do this two more times. Really long stretch through the legs, soften the elbows, lift the chest, teeter-totter back down. One more time, pull up with the chest, down with the legs, and you'll finish with the legs up. Go ahead and bring the foam roller in. Sit up and take another stretch in that child's pose or piece of heaven stretch for the back. Drop the head, shake the tension, and then come all the way up to kneeling. Now the foam roller goes under the knees. Again, if it feels hard for you, if it bothers you, just put a towel underneath. Your hands come in front. Once you're on your knees and you feel safe, again, part of this effort is that it's wobbly. That's the whole point. Drop to your elbows. Now, this is gonna feel like a small little clamshell. So thinking about the belly button pulling up into the back, roll a little forward on your shin bones or shin muscles, just a little back. This isn't real big. It's pull forward with your knees, push back with your knees. So it's giving a massage to the shin bones using your abdominals. Now this is gonna get bigger, pull forward, then carefully roll back out longer so it goes right over the top of your front thighs. Pull in, engage the tummy, pull the knees up and in, push back and roll to your thighs. Try to keep it smooth, pull in, in, pull under, push back. One more time, pull in, pull under, push back and stay there. Find a spot and bend your knees in a hamstring curl. Lengthen, find a new spot and hamstring curl. Find a new spot and hamstring curl. Find one more spot and hamstring curl. And lengthen. Now take your hands to the floor. Lift up higher. From here, take your uh, right leg and roll it underneath your shin. Notice that my left leg is extended behind me. Rocking with the foot, push onto your toes, back through your heel. Push forward and back through the heel. Push forward. So I'm moving my back foot. Now that's going to change. Keep your foot stable. Roll the knee. Push back. Roll the knee. So it's like a mountain climber supported. Roll the knee, not moving the foot. One more. Roll the knee and foot. Now just change sides. Place your left leg onto the foam roller. Extend your back foot, be up on your hands. Rock back through your heel, so you're moving more the whole body here. You've got a little bit of rolling on the shin. It's called the anterior tibialis muscle or tibial tibialis anterior. Now hold still with the foot. Now move just your knee, more forward and more backwards. More forward, so I'm not rocking my back foot at all and finish it up. Good. Take it off the foam roller. This next one's a little tricky to set up. It's going to go underneath your lower leg, close to the top of your ankles. Once you get the foam roller down there, again, you don't want it on the top of your feet. That's too low. Somewhere in the lower leg by the top of the ankle or the bottom of the shin. Come up onto your hands and extend. Back. Okay, again, a small little tiny pull forward with your knees. It's not big. 
push back. Little tiny move, push back. Little tiny move, push back. Give me one more, that's all. Pull in, push back. To come out of it, bring one knee forward and down. Go ahead and sit yourself up. Bring the foam roller back around to the front of you. Placing the elbows, if you need a towel, you'll be pushing your forearms to the foam roller. Once your foam roller is under the forearms, walk your knees a little backwards. Push your pelvis forward, come up on your toes. Bend your knees, touch the floor. Push back through your heels. Bend your knees, back through the heels. Bend your knees. Push back one more time, bend your knees, touch, stay up, and roll the foam roller under your forearm. So you've got lots of rocking and rolling here with everything, even the arms. Good, bend your knees, reposition. Place your forearm on it, lift up. Walk your knees backwards, come up onto your feet in a plank, turn your right hip bone towards the mat four times, drop down, Lift up, same side, three more times. Now exaggerate that big lift. Pull up under that oblique muscle. After this next one, you'll change to the other side. Drop the left hip down. Pull way up underneath and down. Pull way up and down. Pull way up one more time and pull up. Bring the knees back to center. Reposition your forearms. Tuck the toes and lift up into the plank position. Starting with your right leg, pull the knee towards the chest. Touch the knee to the floor. Pull way up into the chest. Kick back, same side again. Pull into the chest. Touch the floor. Pull all the way up in and kick back two more times on this side. Pull in. Touch the floor. Pull way up into the chest and kick back. You've got one more to do. Pull forward. Touch down. Lift all the way up. Kick back. Take a quick little rest. Roll out the forearms. Even if you need to take one side versus the other, this is a quick time to stretch. Come back to forearms for the other side. Walk the knees back, tuck toes, lift up and plank. Brace into the belly, pull the left knee forward, touch down to the floor. Pull all the way up into the tummy, kick back. Three more times, pull in. Remember not to drop your head. That just adds a lot of weight to your arms. Two more times, pull forward, touch down. Remember, if you feel like quitting, we're almost done. One more, pull in, touch the knee, pull all the way up, kick back. Go ahead and take that little rest. Pull back and roll the forearms, and again, if it feels good to kind of go to an angle, that's great. Okay, sit all the way up. Bring the foam roller underneath your hips in a seated position. So I'll face you on this so you can see me a little better. I love the elevated position of sitting on the foam roller. Take the legs in a bent position a little bit wide. Now bring your hands to your chest and lean back. It's not a C curve, it's a straight back. So that tummy is nice and tight, but your shoulders are down away from ears. The hands open into a low V with the palms facing out. Back to the chest, high V, still leaning back with the foam roller under your hips. Low V, high V. Let's pick up the speed, keep that belly tight. Low, in, high, low. So Pilates is about stabilization and then mobilization or movement and center. So there's always a muscle that's stable and then in Pilates there's always something that moves and that's what changes us from yoga. But combining yoga and Pilates are awesome. Okay, hands forward, lean back, lift your right knee up, left knee. Right knee again, so you're leaning back. Pulse up for three on the right. Pulse up three on the left. 
using that pulse, but changing it. Right knee, then kick forward. Knee in, down. So it's still a three count phrase. One, kick, two, knee, set it down. In, kick, in, set it down. One more. Good, sit all the way up. Place your hands on the foam roller. Reposition so that you're really, really tall. So when you're seated on top, you can feel your sits bones right underneath you. Once you've got that position, go ahead and open the knees. Bring your feet together in a cobbler's pose. So feeling that openness, sitting right up on top with your spine, bring your arms above your head, rotate to the right, open your arms, left hand forward. Lift back up, switch sides. So your six bones that I was talking about are little bones underneath the glutes. They should be connected to the foam roller. Now take the arms open, bring your shoulders down, open the chest, twist to your right side with your left arm forward and center, other side. Double twist to the right side, center, left side, center, right side, left side, right side. Now listen for the change. Three pulses to the right twist. As you come back to the center hold, left twist. One more time to the right, twist three, two, one, last time. Center hold. I love this cobbler stretch with the hips elevated because it allows those knees to open, bring the hands to the floor. In a moving stretch, roll the hips back, lower the head. Roll the hips forward, lift the head. Fingertips down, roll the hips back. Roll the hips forward and lift up. Two more times, hands down, roll back. Roll forward, lift up. One more time, roll back, forward, lift up. Lean back on your hands behind the foam roller. Open up the posture. Use your upper body strength, knees together. Let the knees fall to the right side and feel a little massage under that right hip. Over to the left side, feel the massage on the left hip. Try to find a new spot as you go from side to side. Now bring your legs back to the center, reposition your hands behind you, open your chest. Now lift your knees up to your chest. Same thing, knees fall to the right, let it massage the hip, bring it up. To the left, let massage the hip, lift it up, right? Lift up, one more time. And up, bring the feet down. That could be a place where you have some hot spots. Push yourself off the foam roller, seated on the floor. Place the foam roller now under your calf muscle. In a reverse plank, which is just opposite of a plank where your tummy is down, tummy is up, hands behind you. Foam roller somewhere under the calf, pull the hips up off the floor. Lower the pelvis, push back up. Lower the pelvis, push back up, hold up. Let the foam roller roll the hip calf muscles. Use your upper body strength and your core strength to keep your hips off. Now cross the right foot and roll back and forth. Find a spot to stop in and let your hip legs just roll side to side. Roll it to a new spot on your calf and roll side to side. You might be noticing your calves are a little tight. One more spot, roll side to side. Back to center, lower your hips, uncross your legs. Pull your hips up, open the chest, lower the hips. Lift up and hold, take the left leg, cross it over. Roll forward and backwards on your calf. Hold still, find a spot. Roll your hips side to side or your feet side to side. Find a new spot and roll side to side. Find a new spot, one more and roll side to side, well, that's a good spot. Lower the hips, uncross your legs. Place your feet down on the foam roller. Bend your knees and roll it in to where you feel most comfortable. Bring your hands forward. C-curve the belly button into your spine, imprinting it. Lean back, but open the chest. Lift your foot off the floor, right foot. Off the foam roller, down to the foam roller, left foot. You're trying to stabilize the upper body. Remember in Pilates, there's always something stable. 
as we move through those six principles of Pilates. Now both feet come off the floor, squeeze your knees together, touch your toes. Squeeze the knees and touch the toes. Squeeze and lift, touch down with your toes one more time. As you bring your toes down, interlock your fingers. Bring them into your chest, see so curve the tailbone open. So your chest is open, your shoulders roll back. With a quick motion, twist right, left, then center and left, right. So twist, twist, hold, right, left, left, right. Let's do it one more time each side. Right, left, left, right. Back to center, open your knees. Bring them off the foam roller, and then just roll the foam roller out underneath your fingers. Sit back up into a tall position and place your lower leg on the foam roller, somewhere kind of under that ankle or lower calf. Use your back muscles, get right up onto those sit bones, and then bring your arms over your head for some roll up and roll downs. Imprint the belly button to the spine, pull forward. As you lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time, bring your hands over the top of your head and come back up. So you can't cheat. You can't kick your legs. They are connected to the foam roller. It's forcing good form. Again, imprint the spine. You want a little more challenge. Keep your hands closer to your ears as you lower down and lower or roll back up. If you need a little more support, bring your hands a little more forward. I'm just gonna add some speed to this. More dynamics, pull in, roll down. Engage, pull up, sit up. Engage, roll down. Engage, roll up. Two more times, quick motion, go down. Roll up. The last one will keep you down. Hold there. Bring your hands to your side. Roll the foam roller underneath your feet and roll it in close to your hips. You'll be bridging the hips up and down. With the hands at your side, head down. Feet push in, lift up. Squeeze your knees as close together as you can. Open just a little and lower the hips. A little faster. Up, squeeze knees. Open a little and lower. Up, squeeze knees. Open, lower down. Up, squeeze. On this next one, lift up, squeeze. Open and stay lifted. Take the right foot up. Down, toe touches the foam roller. It's at a 90 degree angle. Touch down. My hips are off. One more time. Now take the knee up, let it open out to the side. Up, open to side. Really stabilizing on this left side. Listen to your transition. Bring the knee back up, extend the leg, inward circle, around and stop. Do it again, around and stop. Two more. One more, outward circle. So when you stop momentum, you brace the belly. One more. Bring that foot down, lower the pelvis. Push with your feet, reposition, lift up. Squeeze your knees in, open a little. Take a 90 degree angle up with your leg and down, touch your toe. Keep your pelvis elevated and your left leg is your stable muscle. Knee, open out to the side with a bent knee. Pull up, open out to the side. Ooh, good work right there in that oblique muscle. One more, listen to your transition. Pull the knee up, extend the leg long. Inward circle four times around, stop. Brace the belly, that concept of pulling the belly into the spine. Outward circle. I do a whole class on bracing the belly too. Find it in my YouTube channel. One more. Good. Now bring the knee in, set the foot down, release the hips. Keep your feet on the foam roller, but open your knees. Keep the foam roller close to your hips, hands at your side. Bridge the hips up with the knees open and down. You can feel your feet come right up onto the foam roller, but your knees need to stay open. Now on this next one, elevate the hips, keep them open, then take the knees and butterfly the knees close open. Feet on top, side of the feet. Pull. Inner thighs, adductors. Pull. Pull. Two more. Pull. Last one. Pull. And release the hips down. 
Okay, transition now the foam roller underneath your hips. So as you roll it underneath you, pull the foam roller right underneath your hips and pelvis with your feet connected to the floor, hands at your side. Keep your left leg down, pull your right knee in and extend it high. Now the left leg isn't straight, that's too hard on your back, but it's foot to floor, but it can be a little bit more extended. Now those circles you just did in the bridge position, same idea here, use your tummy inward circle. In, around, stop. In, around, stop. Two more. One more. Outward circle, really trying to stabilize the pelvis. Remember, something stable, something moves. Now bring that foot down, lengthen it down, and bring the other leg up. Really concentrate here. Inward circle around and stop. Brace. Stop. Outward circle. The bracing of the belly protects your back. Really important concept. One more. Bring both knees up. Extend both legs. As you balance on the foam roller, four circles to the right side. Think about the first one. How did that feel? Can you make the next one bigger? How about bigger on the third one? Last one as big as you can with the four. Stop the momentum to go to the left side, four circles. How did that one feel? A little bigger on the second one. How about the third one? How about the last fourth one? Reposition that foam roller underneath your hips and bring your legs into tabletop. Push the feet slightly forward. Take the feet towards the floor. Bring them back up. Now, if they touch, they touch. If they don't, that's okay. You have to keep your rib cage interlocked. So if you can't touch the floor, don't open up the ribs. Just go down as far as you can, keeping good quality. Let's do two more. Down, pull up. One more time, go down and pull up. Good, just pull your knees into your chest. Reposition onto your hips. Okay, from here, keep your hands down onto the floor. And as we transition, put your feet to the floor. Sit yourself all the way up and hold. Now from here, take your foam roller and put it across the middle of your back. So I'm not in my low back, I'm in the middle of my back. Reach forward, right elbow close to the side. Pull, four times. Pull, pull, one more. Left side twist, pull, pull. Both elbows open, pull up. Open, chin is forward. Now slow down, open elbows. Lift the feet, squeeze your legs together, lower your feet, and push forward. Open your elbows. Lift your feet. Lower your feet. Pull forward. Open your elbows. Lift your feet. Lower your feet. Close your elbows. From here, lower your hands down. Bridge the hips up. And then just lift your hands off the floor to your chest. Roll up and down your back. You might find some tight muscles by the low back. You might find some tight muscles in the upper back. Just bridge and roll. Bridge and roll. Good. Come down with your hips. Turn sideways with your knees bent. And roll the foam roller now underneath your lats. So the lats are right underneath your armpit, right there. A lot of us have a lot of knots in those lats. So when you come down, you might feel that, and that's a good thing to massage those knots. Bring your hands behind your head, and then just test it. Roll backwards. Make sure you have somewhere to roll on the foam roller or scoop more forward. Lower, back, and forward, and up. Open, lift, one more. As you come up, now take the elbow up into a side crunch, release up and crunch. So this isn't a big move, it's a deep move through the side waistline muscle. Take it again, up and hold. Take both feet and elevate. Open your knee to your elbow, lower the knee, 
to the elbow contract. Open your knee, close your knees, then open. Now I'm going to take the same move and exaggerate it. As you close your knee, roll back onto your back over the chest, pull in. Roll back and see the ceiling, roll in. So the range of motion is huge. Same move, done four times a little faster. Here we go. Down, down, tighten it up. Two more, one more, and release the legs down. Bring the foam roller down to the other side. Swing the legs around, keep your legs together. Come down onto your lats. Hands behind the back of your head, knees bent. Roll back, just make sure you have room on your foam roller to roll and come back up. Roll back. You might find a little knot there. Again, that's a hot spot. And sometimes the best way to get rid of it is foam rolling, not stretching. Now hold here, elbow up, side crunch into the side of the waistline. So I don't come off my foam roller. I go deep into the waistline with a deep contraction focus. One more time, pull. Now elevate both toes, open the knee, elbow comes into the knee, close the knee forward and up. So I do this position or this movement just a little differently each time. On this next one, roll back, open the chest. So it's a bigger range of motion. Both toes are still elevated. It's called an elevated clamshell. Open, close. Okay, on the last four, we move a little faster dynamically. Open, open, open one more time and release the legs down. Sit up. Foam roller is going vertically across the back of your spine. So this is where the longer foam roller definitely helps. But it can be done on the floor or on a shorter one also. As I lift up and put my foam roller under my hips, most importantly is the base of the skull needs to be supported. So if the head's hanging off and your neck is compromised, scoop more down. From here, hands at your side, lift the arms up, open, out. This is beautiful work for posture. So the arms go up over your head. However, if you have an injury in your shoulder, your range of motion may be cut a little bit smaller. Forward, one more time, lift it up. Open, bring it up and hold. My right arm, like climbing for a rope, reaches high. The left elbow comes into my ribs, switch. So I'll feel a little shifting of my rib cage here. Climbing the rope. And again, anytime that foam roller wobbles, that is good work. Bring it back to center, bring your arms to the side. So again, you're on unstable. Any wobble is good work. Lift your head, shoulders, reach to your legs and curl up. And then lower back down. Without stopping, lift up, lower down, lift. Now, the legs that are on the floor, the wider the base is, the more stable you'll be. If you want more challenge, bring them in closer together. Lift up and hold. Stay there, drop the chin, look at your belly button. Bounce the hands in your hundreds. So again, with the legs wider, you're gonna have more base of support. If you want more challenge, bring your legs as close together as you can. Keep looking at your belly button and breathe and pump. So you can lift your upper back a little higher, cinching up into that waistline. Now the final challenge, point your toes and lift your heels. So you have very little support on your feet. Let's bounce this a few more times. Keep the chin down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Bring your hands to your side and lower your back on your foam roller. Place your hands behind the back of your head. Reposition your feet and then take the left hand to the side. Lift your left leg up with a bent knee position. Right elbow crosses and lifts you up and open. I'm not going to get real fancy with this one, and I'm not going to get any faster. I want you to feel good support, good balance, good concentration, good control. Two more lifts. One more. And as you come down, bring the foot down and switch to the other side. So my right hand is out to the side to give me support. Right knee comes up. 
Lift the chest, cross the elbow, open. Remember, it's not gonna get any fancier, it's not gonna get any faster. So really think about the journey from the low to the high. Lift, two more, from low to high. Last one, lift, lift, lower, bring your foot down. Transition onto your back with the foam roller in your hands. I will always do a series of five in every Pilates class, and here we go. Bring the foam roller over your legs, lift your chest for the double leg stretch, reach your arms overhead, legs to a diagonal, out. Pull in. I will do a few variations here. Breathe. Two more. Inhale on one move, exhale on the other move. Listen for the change, extend out, lower your hands, head and feet towards the floor. Engage through the center, lift back up, and tuck the knees in. Take that again, extend. Lower down to the floor. Lift back up, pull in, listen for the change. Now extend, lower to the floor. Cross the right foot over the left thigh, not the knee. Engage the powerhouse, lift your legs. Lift your torso. Open slowly in four counts. As you do this again, pay attention to the details. Rib cage pulls in, lift the leg. The arms are over the head, then open slowly. Engage, lift leg. Lift torso. Open slowly in four. Get ready to change to the other side. Cross that left leg over. Engage the powerhouse, lift your leg. Lift the torso. Open four counts, slow, two, three, engage, lift the leg, torso, open slowly in four, three, one more time, lift the leg, torso, open slowly in four, three, two, bring the knees to the chest, foam roller above the chest, one leg extends, chest comes up, head and chin drop forward, but the Foam roller is high. Switch legs, look at your belly button. Switch, now see if you can lift a little higher, a little deeper in your contraction, four more. Breathe, exhale, inhale on one move, exhale on the other. Knees to chest, foam roller over the head, extend the right leg, come up, touch the right leg, left leg extends. Scissor and drop the foam roller high, come up, touch the right leg, three more. Come up, touch the right leg. So we've got the single straight leg stretch here. One more. Foam roller overhead, knees come in. Left leg high. Right leg long, come up, touch the front of your leg. Foam roller over the head, scissor down, scissor up. Scissor down, scissor up. Scissor down, scissor up. Scissor up. One more time. Bring the knees to chest, foam roller over the head. Bring the foam roller to chest, kick your legs high, lift the chest. Legs forward, drop the foam roller down, they follow the legs to the chest, lower the head. So this is a double straight leg stretch. Out of the series of five, this is exercise number four. Press up, lower, lift, Pull in, last one here. Press up, drop the chin. Pull in, bring one knee to the chest, extend the other leg long without touching the floor. Elevate the chest, foam roller over the head, soft elbows, cross the elbow in, crisscross, switch, crisscross and switch, crisscross, switch, switch. Four more, four, three, two, one, bring the knees to chest, foam roller up. You will only do one move. You'll be coming all the way up into your V set, teaser or boat. Ready? Come all the way up once you're there. Find it. Extend into it. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Bring it into seated position with the foam roller in your hands. Open into straddle. Take the foam roller up. Twist to the right. Come back to center. Twist to the left. Come back to center, twist to the right. Come back to center, twist to the left. Come back to center, double twist to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. 
Come back to center, reach up high over the right leg. Use your back muscles, lift up. To the left leg, lift up. To the right leg, lift up. To the left leg, lift up, hold. Get right up on those sits bones. I'd rather your legs be bent than your back. In a circle, quickly. Right, drop, up, and around. Left side, go down. Again, go. One more time. Good. Bring that foam roller in. You're close. Almost done. Bring the foam roller down to the mat or floor, and then just sit right on the edge of it. Take your legs a little bit apart. Remember, the wider they are, more base. The more narrow they are, more challenge. Hands forward. Open shoulders. Belly button imprints the spine. Start to lower back and just kind of test it. You're going to feel those wobbles and come right back up. And again, anytime it wobbles, you're working to stabilize. Lower back in four. Three, two, one. Come up. Two, three, four. Lower back. Two, three, four. Lift up. Two. This time, lower back and stay back. Hold. Brace the belly. Lift your right arm high. Bring it forward. Left arm high. Try to get that tailbone under, scoop and hollow out the abdominals. Right arm one more time. Left arm one more time. Now for the challenge, both arms at the same time. One more time. Sit all the way up. Nice job. Come off the foam roller. You have two different positions left. This next one, listen carefully for this detail. Place the right knee onto the foam roller with your hands on the floor. Now you might be thinking there is no way. And the cylinder is going to roll. Your back foot, your right foot. Knees on, but my right toe is touching the floor. That gives me a contact point, which triggers the brain to think I'm more stable. So think about that. Put that right foot down. Now don't be wimpy on it. Push down into it. Engage the leg. Lift the left knee off and bring the foot off. Now open the knee to the side. Notice my right toe is on the floor, helping my brain think it's stable. And I'm really working the leg and the abdominals. I can feel it like crazy here. Kick your leg now back. Pull the knee forward. Kick the leg back. And if you don't concentrate, it's gonna wobble. You probably saw mine just shake right there. Kick back. Kick back and keep the leg back. Lower down to the floor. Lift higher. Lift, take it lower. Lift higher. Keep it high. Cross it over the foot. Touch floor. Lift high. I love this. Touch out to the side. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Lift up. Touch over the leg. Try to stabilize the knee that's on the foam roller. Remember, something always is stable while something moves. One more time. Cross. Lift high. Open to the side, touch toe, and center. Bring that knee to the floor, and then straddle the foam roller so you can transition the legs. Hands down, head neutral, left knee comes on. Left toe makes contact with the floor behind me. Push down with that left knee so you can elevate the right knee, and when you feel stable, bring that right knee in. Open out to the side now. Close down. Open out and down. Two more. Open. Breathe. Kick back slowly. Pull the knee back forward. Stabilize. If it starts to roll, use your leg muscles to stop the rolling. Use your core muscles to stabilize. Keep it back. Hold. Lift the leg higher. Lower down. Lift higher, lower down, lift higher again, lower down, one more time. This next time as you lift higher, you cross toe touch on the other side of the foot. Lift higher, touch the toe to the side, I love it right there. Such good work through those center core. Lift higher, touch out to the side two more times, lift higher. Cross, woo, wobble, and lift, 
Can we do it? One more time. Leg is on fire. Lift. Out to the side. Bring that knee to the floor. Straddle. Okay, final move. Hands to foam roller, vertical position. Push down away from your shoulders and then walk the feet back into your plank. Once you're in plank, brace the belly up. Okay, simple move. The right toe taps out and in four times. Here we go. Tap out, in, out, in, out, in. Left side goes now. Tap, in, tap, in, tap, in. Right side twice. Once, twice. Left side twice. One side right, one side left. One more time each side. And finish. Bend your knees and pull back. Go ahead and take a little break. Turn the foam roller and roll it out. Roll the wrist. Come up onto hands and knees into a nice big cat stretch. Push the hips up, lift the chin, cow stretch. Come down to a seated position. Bring your feet together. And take the foam roller forward and just drop into that stretch. Pull back in. Open the legs into the straddle and go back into that stretch. So I was stretching as we went along. I won't do a lot of stretches here. Come back up. Set your foam roller off to the side. Cross your right leg over, left leg under. Wrap around and twist. If you enjoyed again that foam roller challenge, watch for foam roller Pilates number two and switch. I'll be filming it in the next couple days. Again, pretty advanced class. All those moves could be transitioned to the floor. Come back to center. Just find a comfortable position and take one arm over to a side stretch and then switch to the other side stretch. Take it one more time and switch. Come back and center, roll the shoulders, one more. Remember, subscribe to Fitness with Jen Allen, check out all the other workouts. There's lots of great variety on that channel. I am so glad you joined me today. I hope you felt challenged, but also successful. Let hard things motivate you, not discourage you. Have a wonderful day and come back and join me again soon. Thanks again for joining me today.